In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can host a static website along with ASP.NET MVC. So basically, here we have ASP.NET web application. And let's say you have some static files comprising style sheets, JavaScript files, and HTML files. And you want to host them along with the ASP.NET web application. Now there are many ways, but the one which I'll be demonstrating here is the easiest one. So consider that here we create a file and we need to rename it as index.html because that's the default file which IIS hosts. So here I'll go and say add and then I'll select HTML page. I'll give it a name over here as index.html. Click on OK. And here I'm saying this is the home page. Now in order to ensure that this page gets loaded, what we need to do is we need to go inside app start and there we need to go inside the route config.cs file and here you'll notice this one line which says route start ignore route similarly we need to add one more over here route start ignore route and here you don't have to specify anything just two double quotes and that's it now if i go ahead and run this application and there you go it says this is the home page. So here you can see that the default route was set to home index, but when we included this route start ignore route, then the index.html page, which was the default page in this root directory, was hosted and rendered by the browser. So that's how easy it is to combine static as well as the ASP.NET website in ASP.NET web application.